it will actually take place with uh, obviously Department of Work and Pensions um, making these calculations. You could redesignate the homes. You could well, you could commit not to evict people. Yeah. Well, you you have choices. Yeah. There, there there are options there for you. You're choosing to implement this. No. Redesignating the homes. There's about 2,200 uh, people affected. Now the issue is we are we are looking to redesignate some homes, but it's a small number that don't fully comply. And I think people have said about Nosley Housing Trust where they've converted about 500. How do you mean don't fully comply? Well, what, what, is, it, the, what is the criteria well, that makes them not comply? Well, what it is. Who sets the criteria? In terms of bedrooms, um, they are you know either two or three bedroom homes. Um, but in some homes where we've done certain works which made them smaller, so for instance, in somewhere we've had to put a central heating boiler in a small third bedroom, we're looking to redesignate those. So ours, ours in others, can we be redesignated because we have a central heating boiler in our bedroom? Well, we're, we're looking well, we, at. We, we actually it depends on the size. To children in. It depends on the size of your, of your home, and we're looking at each case on its merits, but they're the sort of cases we're looking at. The other cases we've had, we've had somewhere. A small number, it has to be said, where we've put in a vertical stair lift, and obviously that's taken a big chunk of the bedroom. So in cases like that, we're redesignating. So a number of people who've had the boiler problem, mm. they aren't going to be able to take lodging because, yeah. you know, it's a health and safety. It's fine for your own family. I've actually been told, because we were looking into fostering, we can't do it. Bernardo's, even more accounts. We have a boiler in our room, and I know a number of people across the country have the similar problem. So what we're looking for, if there's one housing association that will do that, we look for the whole lot. Again, we're looking for this to be squashed totally, if there's a boiler, because it's wrong. If there's, a, if there's a boiler in a bedroom, then we, it's almost certainly you will be redesignated, not least because you shouldn't be sleeping in a room where there's a gas appliance. Yeah. So yeah. That's a health that, issue. That, that is not a... <coughs> It's not just about boilers and bedrooms. It's, 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 it's not just about boilers and bedrooms. Yeah. Let's get to the nitty gritty. You said you've got 2,200 homes that are going to be affected. Yeah. Right, so two, out of the 2,200 homes, how many of them people uh, are getting housing benefits? Because that's a potential uh, amount of people who are going to get into, get, get into arrears yeah. with will, uh, will partnership homes. Yeah. So the, question, the obvious questions are, you know, what, are, what, is, what is going to be your attitude towards eviction? Mm. That's the first one. The mm. second one is, uh, what, what minimum payment would you accept of, the, of, of people who are going to have to pay this, this extra money? What's a minimum amount? Because people are going to be uh, left uh, short, short of cash. They're going to be left short of money. And uh, when it comes to between a choice between paying the rent and buying food for the, for the, for the children or food for themselves, they're going, to, they're going to choose food every time. So from your point of view, you're, from a business point of view, you're going to be out of cash because people won't be able to pay it. You're going to be, you're, you'll be looking for eviction, which will cost you a lot of money. So obviously, we want to know what your strategy is. What is your strategy toward, towards this policy? Or have you, uh, have you just uh, sort of jump into things to do, snatch into things, uh, maybe we'll do this, maybe we'll do that. What we, what we need to know is what's your strategy, what, what are you prepared to do, the minimum amount you're prepared to pay. You've already said you won't redesignate the homes. That's more, more or less what you're saying, well, isn't it? If I can just come on to that, the whole thing about if we said let's redesignate all 2,200 homes of those people on housing benefit affected, well, that, that's not uh, fair on the people that live in similar properties that pay rent. Oh, I should so, do it for them as well. Well, if <laughs> that, yeah, well, we've looked at that. That, that comes to about seven thousand. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That, that takes about seven thousand homes. So that comes to just under three million pounds a year. Over the next 30 years of the business plan, that's about 87 million pounds. Now, we've spent 166 million pounds so far doing the houses up since the transfer from the council. We are a, a stock transfer housing association, as probably most of you know. We've had to borrow that money from the Royal Bank of Scotland. We do have to pay it back. If we actually start to say, okay, let's redesignate all three bidder homes to twos and all twos to ones, it puts a massive hole in the business plan and we would have to cut services, cut staff, make major, major changes. We couldn't do it. Not happy fancy new headquarters, cut your own wage. Well, at the end of the day, you know... Was it 130k a year, mate? Six-figure salary? Hang on a minute, just answer one at a time, we'll come back to you. Um, part of the reason about moving headquarters, the lease on this property is up, we've got a short-term lease on Dock Road Depot, 
We've got uh, a short-term lease in uh, Durley Drive. We've got lots of offices. We actually make savings by going to one office, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing that, bringing people together in, in the one building. Sure Sorry, you're going to make another money. point? Mm. Sorry, you're going to make a point? Can I make a point? When you said those who pay rent, what do you mean by that? Those who pay rent? Well, working people that have got housing <coughs> benefit. So, so people who have housing benefit, pay rent, you know. Well, uh, people, people, people whose rent is paid by housing benefit, their rent is still paid. Yeah, it is. Yes, but so all I'm saying you're working the people there. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Can we go? Okay, people? Janet, it's, it's working people as well. Yes. Hello, you all right? Uh, so <laughs> the issue is <laughs> just <laughs> housing really, benefit. Actually, <laughs> no. you just keep to the issues like that. Yeah. Well, that, that's right. In terms of housing benefit... benefit that's obviously about 2,200, but we reckon there's about 7,000 others. We can't redesignate, and it would be unfair to just redesignate those, redesignate those homes for people in housing benefit and not other people that are working as well. So we're not all one bedroom places then? Well, we've got few one bedroom places. We have been working with people. I think uh, people might few. be aware if you are affected, you should have had a visit from us. We've been visiting everyone to talk about their needs. Well, sorry. She gets a visit, she should be having a visit. Sorry, this lady here. So, if there was 2,200 people turn up here next week and say, I can't pay this, me. me, what would you do? Well, we're sitting down with everyone, looking at each case on the merits to see what we can do. If Some you, might want no, to be if you get 2,200 people all at once saying, Rehome me, I can't mm. pay. What would you do? What would your game plan be then? Well, Panic. Not, not everyone wants to be uh, rehoused. About 500 have said they would be uh, willing to consider rehousing. Not everyone rehousing. to move out. Yeah. Well, we are helping uh, people uh, at the minute you know, with the, the moves and the like. So that's another well, one. Yeah, that's yeah. You could help by not evicting them. Can you, can you answer the question from the gentleman at the top of the table? In your leaflets, having trouble paying your rent, you actually say, we can agree a payment plan what is the minimum, this is what the gentleman asked, yeah. what is the minimum you will accept? Each case is of its merits. No, we minimum, have minimum, we, we have minimum, minimum, yeah. minimum means minimum. Yeah. Yeah. There's no compensation, it yeah. means minimum. What yeah. is the minimum you will accept? It, it depends on the circumstances of each case. So we this lady, this the lady just said that uh, one is going to be left with £40 pound a week to live on. Obviously, there's a big problem there, isn't there? So, in them circumstances, that's a real person in a real house, having real problems, uh, with the, with the benefits, having real problems, uh, uh, struggling from day to day. That particular person, what would be your minimum payment uh, well, money off that person? I, I can't do it here now. That's where we, our welfare benefit advisors would sit down with the... Oh, get people on their own through. very convenient. Yeah, We're here now and we are not leaving until I, you say I, what the minimum payment is. Well, I can't give you a minimum payment.